Welcome to Being Well. We are going to do a morning flow to wake you up and have you in a beautiful, peaceful mood. So just joining me in a cross-legged position to start. Close down the eyes. Keep the spine up nice and tall. I just want you to take a few big deep breaths. Really bring in all of that awareness inside the body. And just taking a moment for the body to awaken often tend to get out of bed and get up really quickly. I want you to try to move as slow as you can today. Taking one more big deep breath. Try and get this one to go a little bit deeper than the others. And then let the exhale out nice and softly and slowly. And then when you're ready, slowly open your eyes. And you're going to join me in a tabletop position to start. So making sure that the hands and the shoulders are in line, knees and hips are in line. And I want you to really spread out the fingers this morning. And I want you to pat the hands like a cat. And then I want you to pad the knees now. So bring the hands to stillness. Just pad the knees, lifting the knees up and down. And then gently come back into stillness. I just want you to pad the feet. So release the feet if they were tucked. And then just gently pad the feet. We're not hitting them on the ground. We're just bringing them up and down. And then I want you now to slowly bring the bum back towards the heels. Keep lifting the chest, gaze forward. And then start to shift the weight forward now into the wrists and the shoulders, but don't drop the hips and keep the head looking forward. Push a little bit of weight and pressure into the wrists. And then slowly come back again into your child's pose position, bum back towards the heels, but keep the head high. We're just going to do that a few times, nice and gently. Really easing into the body this morning. Nice and gentle with yourself. Taking one more, and we're going to sit in the child's pose and stay in the child's pose. So just reaching the hands out a little bit further, maybe dropping the head down towards the ground. Bum goes as close to the heels as you can, don't worry too much. Just taking a few breaths here. And then I want you to slowly come back into your tabletop position. We're going to take a few cat cows to warm up through your spine. So allowing yourselves to drop the belly by moving the spine. So we're dropping the spine down, the head rises slightly, shoulders pull back away from the ears. Really grounding through the hands and the knees. And then now start to pull up through the spine, rounding the spine naturally. The head will start to drop down towards the floor. Taking an inhale as you drop the spine, nice and controlled. 
and then rounding the spine nice and controlled. Really pushing into the hands and the knees to round that a little bit deeper. Take one more. Really being in each part of the practice this morning. And just really allowing yourself to be in it fully, be present, not rush, not to worry about when you're going to finish the practice, just really being present with the whole entire practice. We're going to now come up onto the knees. I'm just going to change my position so you can see me better. We're going to come up onto the knees and we're going to take the right foot out to the right side, relax the left foot. I'm going to place the right hand gently on the right leg and we're going to take a big reach up with the left arm. If you have bad knees, you may want to double over your mat or grab a cushion or a blanket. And all we're going to do is lengthen up through that left arm and then just take a little lean over to the right side. Nice. Easy breathing. Slowly come back to the center. Hands come to the hips. I'm going to take that right knee back in and take that left leg out now. So placing the left foot on the floor. Standing up nice and tall through the knee. Reach up that right arm. Left arm drops down the left leg, and we're just going to reach over. Staying focused on the breath. Try and relax that left foot. Don't let yourself be tense. I just noticed I was being tense then. That reminded me to just remind you and then slowly come back to the center. I'm going to release that knee back down and we're actually going to come back to our hands and knees. And what I want you to do is step your right foot forward to the outside of the right hand. Now you may need to grab your leg and that's okay. From here, we're going to place both hands on the inside of the right foot. I'm going to take that left knee back just a little bit. We're going to let that right leg open out a little. Maybe it doesn't want to, that's also okay. We're just going to let a little space come into the right hip. Relax the head, but don't drop it. Just relax it in a nice central place. Nice and easy with yourself. Remember it's the morning. And then slowly bring that knee back in. I'm going to plant that left hand just a little closer. I'm going to take that right hand up and take a twist, looking up towards the sky or ceiling towards the right hand. We want to be pushing evenly through the foot, the hand on the back knee. So we're twisting through the spine here, we're awakening the spine in a soft and gentle way. And then slowly come back to the center. Gonna just start to walk the hands back and straighten the front leg. Bring the hands up and the torso up. Bring the hands to the hips. Point the toes towards your body. And then just take a little lean forward through the hips. We're getting a nice big stretch in the back of the leg here. You might get a bit wobbly. Don't really try and help the back foot plant. Keep you stable. And then slowly come back up. Bending that front knee. Bringing the hands back to the mat. Going to take that right foot back. 
and then we're going to change sides so grabbing that left leg if you need to bringing it all the way forward hands come to the inside maybe the right knee goes back a little open up that left knee let the head rest but don't drop and take a few breaths here being gentle with yourself and then slowly bring that knee in plant that right hand just one hand closer take that twist reaching up gaze in towards that left hand Slowly bringing that hand back down to the mat. I'm going to walk the hands closer to the body, raise up through the torso, straightening that left leg, toes pointing towards us, hands can come to the hips. Take a little lean forward through the hips to get a nice stretch in the back of the hamstring. Maybe we don't want to go that far, that's okay, we can just be here. Remember, it's your practice. And then slowly release the hands. I'm going to step that left foot back so we're back onto our knees. And then we're going to lower our hands down to the floor. I'm going to slowly walk the hands forwards towards the top of the mat. And then start to pad and push into them now ground through them, spread through the fingers and start to drop the hips down and then lower the forearms all the way down to the floor taking the elbows to the inside of the ribs coming into our sphinx pose maybe take a couple of deep breaths maybe squeeze the shoulders and then let the shoulders peel away from the ears and let the head stay in line with the spine as much as possible so we don't want to be hyperextending through the neck or dropping the neck too low And then we're going to slowly push into the elbows and the hands, walk the hands a little closer, come up onto our fourth. So come in here in tabletop position. We're going to sit the bone, sit the sit bones, <laughs> sit the bones, <laughs> sit the sit bones back towards the heels, <laughs> and then come forward, shift the weight forward into the wrists and look up. Just do that a couple of times. And then we're going to slowly come into stillness into the center. We're going to tuck the toes and lift into a downward facing dog, pedal in the feet here, releasing any tension from the back of the legs. And then when you're ready, slowly start to bend the knees, walk the hands closer towards the back of the mat. And we're going to come into a standard position. Take a little shake off, a little jump. Awaken the body a little bit more. And then we're going to come to a wide-legged position on the mat. And we're just going to move from side to side. So we're now awakening the body a little bit more, preparing it for the day. Just moving in and out of the hips, the knee and the ankle. Get a little bit weird and a little bit floaty if you want to. 
And then I want you now to come into stillness. And we're going to take some big swoops up with the arms, reaching up. As we come down, we're going to bend the knees, sweep the hands, come across each other in the centre, and then come all the way up. And all the way down. And all the way up. Nice big stretches, really releasing any tension in the body. Big breaths as we reach up in, and big breath out as we come down. We'll take one more. And then come back down, bring the hands back down. We're going to bring the hands to the hips, turn the left foot out at an angle. Move that right foot back just slightly. Left arm comes down to the left thigh. Just rest it here. Take a big reach up with the right arm. Creating a bit of space on the side. Just be really gentle and soft with this left arm. Don't lean and drop all your weight into the left. But still being strong through that right leg. And then slowly bring yourself back up to the center. Turn the left foot forward. Turn the right foot out. And then right arm comes down to the right leg. Reach up with the left arm. Create a bit of space here. And then slowly come back to the centre. Slowly heel toe the feet back into the centre. Take a shake off of the arms. Take a little bounce. Start to prepare for your day. Tell yourself that any challenges that come your way, you welcome them. And you know that it is part of you building more resilience. And then slowly come into stillness. We're going to place the right hand and the left hand on the heart. Take a few big deep breaths. Just taking the moment to be grateful for another day. Take in one more big deep breath to finish our practice. <sighs> mm, gently opening the eyes. Thank you so much for joining. Please subscribe to the channel if you liked this video. We have lots of other meditations, yoga practices, mentoring, lots of other stuff. So check the other videos out on the playlist section and it will be great to have a comment from you or a little thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video, take care.